Yo, E, I have a question about a situation I'm in and I would love to hear your opinion. This week I've been focused at work. School is intense right now and I'm on my purpose like a man should be in his 20s. I haven't had the time to be with my woman this week. We usually see each other two to three times a week. We've been together for three months now, seen each other for about six. Uh, but what happened today is that I found a post by her to an anonymous media, a picture of her, and I can tell it's 100% her because of the words, the emojis, and I can see it's her, where she is showing a picture of, of her body clothed but in a sexual way. You can see her cleavage. And in that post, she texts with another man, not completely sexual stuff, mostly random stuff, but still. And I cannot tell if she's texting with the man in private chat. I just don't know. Things are going great if you ask me. We're both at school. We have sex every time we see each other, and she goes down on me every time. <laughs> we do things together, get out. Maybe we have been a little away from each other, but that's it. And I try to understand why a woman would do this and why this is happening, seeking attention from other men. I set a boundary for this relationship that she couldn't hang out with any other male friends, and it has been like that since. At least not by herself. Always have been with other girls, like I told her. Those men are just in the friend zone. She had a couple of male friends, not many. I guess, my guess is that she wanted attention and validation. I'm guessing she feels insecure or low. And she now went that way to make herself feel good. Other men wanting her and complimenting her. Her not being able to get it from in her friendly, not her getting it from her friendly men. Also, her circle of friends is not that big. I'm not okay with this at all. Only a low value man would tolerate that. In fact, I'm disappointed. I may have given her some beta vibes in this relationship. When I say that I mean comfort, security, but not like texting her all the time or being too nice or soft, I don't pedalize, pedestalize her. I am red pilled, red pill aware, aware of intersexual dynamics, I'm still learning. I saw some red flags in her, I've seen them, but now I have red flags too and I'm working on them. It's hard to find a good woman. I want to handle this the right way. I could walk away. I have the power to do so. I don't believe that she have done more than this. I believe I have to confront her about this, asking why and letting her know what is wrong. Punish her in some way, if that makes sense. Not for my ego, but how does, how does she make it up to me again then? How can she make it okay? And how can I trust her moving forward? If I confront, how can I do so in an unemotional way th with these feelings involved? I can get emotional at times, but it's important for me to get my message across being in the frame. What is your opinion, E? Thanks for your time and God bless. So that was a mouthful. And so if you are quote unquote red pilled, right? And you understand that women's, uh, they what they deem important is attention, right? Atten Some guys, I think uh, entrepreneurs in cars, right? Rich, he says, um, attention is their, is a woman's currency, right? That's a currency. That's, that's what they're seeking, right? A lot of, like sometimes men are like, we're seeking sex or we're seeking money. Well, a woman's seeking attention, right? And she wants that attention. And so social media has made it such that it becomes a drug to them, right? And so they know that if they put up a picture with their butt out or their cleavage out, um, that they're going to get a lot of t -t 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 taps, right? All the simps are going to come drooling and giving them taps and saying, hey, you look so hot. I have this girl that used to work at strength camp, right? She's, uh, she's thick. She's thick. She's big. She's strong. And, you know, some guys have a fetish for that, right? She's like, a, she's a power lifter. She did strong man and stuff. She loves more than anything putting up bikini pictures, you know, very provocative pictures on her Instagram. It's the funny, it's the weirdest thing. She loves putting up all these pictures of herself half naked showing her body. And then she gets upset because of all the men DMing her, you know, like, you know, uh, provocative or like, you know, they, they send like, you know, dick pics and stuff like that. They will send her all kinds of stuff and like they're, they're being like raunchy with her and she's like offended. And I'm like, why do you pretend like you're offended? Because you obviously like that attention. And so there's like this cognitive dissonance in her. Like on one hand, she wants everybody to see her because every woman does. I want, and it's, and it's crazy. It's not just in a sexual way. Women, because they are social creatures, they're more social creatures than we are, they want to be seen, 
right? This is why if a woman is, even when she's older and she has a family, like my wife, she's a family, she has all our kids and stuff. My wife cannot help herself but post pictures all the time whenever the family's doing something. My kids like roll their eyes, but whatever we are, whatever we're doing, she can't just hand, she can't just enjoy. She's got to take pictures. She takes pictures all the time and you know it's because she wants to put it on Facebook and the kids are like, no, put my picture. Oh no, no, put my picture. But my wife needs that attention. She needs people to see, oh, that's what Colleen, I mean, she has a good life. She has a great life, right? So she wants people to see that. Why? For validation. She wants the attention. So it's not just women doing it because you know they want sexual uh, attention. They want any attention they can get. And so it's in her nature. And you say that, you know, she's, uh, uh, you're, you're red-pilled. So you got to understand, the two things that are going to derail you in this situation, in, in situations like this, is uh, attention and hypergamy, right? So what does that mean? That means she's, she wants to billboard herself, right? And I will, especially in a sexual way, advertising, if I'm with a woman, I don't want my woman advertising herself, right? Like, but then again, she's not really your woman. You guys are just fornicating. She, you guys are playing family. That's what you do when you have a girlfriend. And you guys are, uh, you know, fornicating and, and playing marriage, right? You're not, you don't, owe, you don't, she don't owe you nothing, to be completely honest. She don't owe you nothing because you're not her husband. You can't tell her nothing. You could have preferences, right? And you could say, if my preferences aren't met, then I'm just not going to be in a relationship with you. And I think that's important for you to do. But you can't, you can't, when she's your wife, you, well, it's your responsibility to create boundaries and it's her duty to follow those. That's what being in a covenant relationship is about, right? You obey your husband. That's what it is. You submit to your husband. So if you guys are married and she's doing that, I'll say, all you got to do is tell her stop. And if she don't stop, that's a big problem, right? That needs to be dealt with, right? But again, we live in such a, we live in such a backwards and disoriented age that even then, like a woman thinks that she, it's her right to be advertising herself, even though she's in marriage and she don't have to listen to her husband. If you ever get with a woman that don't have to listen to her husband, that's, you, you, or, or see her attitude like that, you got to get away with her. She, you, you, she's supposed to listen to you, especially if it's to protect the relationship, right? You must obey me. Otherwise, this relationship is doomed, and I'm trying to protect it. That's what a man does. He protects his investment, and I'm protecting our relationship by telling you, stop putting them racist pictures up on Instagram. But she's not your wife. So any, just, just to lay the foundation for everything I'm about to say, y'all are living in sin, and you have no, you have no word, you have no say, you have no bearing in the situation. To be completely honest, right? She don't have to listen to you, <laughs> right? That's the other, that's the other thing that our hookup culture has created. That's another one of the fairy tales or fugazis that we live with in in our uh, in our backwards culture. Being your boyfriend and girlfriend don't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything, right? And especially. If she's advertising and because she's hypergamous. So that's the other part of it is the hypergamous. So if she's advertising and she gets a good deal, a better deal, the rationalization hamster is going to make her leave you, right? It only makes sense. Wow, I'm in a relationship, I'm advertising, and I just got a really good deal. He's taller, he's handsomer, he makes more money, he's older, he's taking me on vacation. Bye-bye. Right? That's why marriage is a binding contract. So that women, so hypergamy is put in check. There's a hypergamy needs a check. As hy, women are hypergamous and men are poly, polyamorous or something, right? In other words, the, marriage puts a check on both of our lowest nature. A woman's nature is to trade up, trade up, trade up. Men don't have to trade up, <laughs> right? We know we don't have to trade up, right? There's no trading up. There's can I get some? Can I get some? Can I get some? And sometimes, I mean, you settle and you're like, well, let's go, right? I know. This is guys, right? So we just wanna, we just wanna do whatever we want, wherever we want. It doesn't even matter. We have low standards in that regard. And that's why all these fat women are walking around talking about strong and independent, because guys will bone anything. Guys will have sex with anything. That's why marriage, courtship, this is a this is a check against hypergamy, and it's a check against uh uh, uh poly, polyamory or whatever you want to call it with regard to just lots of partners right 
So I wouldn't tolerate it. But then again, there's nothing you could do about it. Right? You guys are you guys are make believe. Most of you guys relationships are make believe re relationships. Dating and cohabitating is fake. You have no authority because you have no responsibility. You have no responsibility towards her and so you have no authority over her. So my opinion is stop playing games. Right? You say that you saw her pictures and she's, you know, being sexual and she's using emojis and she's chatting with a guy. Well, leave. Right? Explain to her, I will not tolerate this. And if this is what you want to do, that's fine, but I'm out of here. Things are going great. Yeah, you, I like how you say things are going great. We're both at school and we have sex every time we see each other. Stop having sex with her and see how great things are. <laughs> I said that to the other dude before. The only reason why she got you in her snare is because you guys are having sex. You stop having sex with her and you see how quickly her true colors show. You stop having sex with her and you'll see how quickly she going to find somebody to have fun with, to give her that attention. So it's funny too. Men and women are different in this regard. Women have sex with men because they want that man's attention. Men have sex with women because we want to blow our load. Right? So the man's like, Seeking and some women are like, ooh, he looks like I want his attention. Right? She don't women don't want every man's attention. That's why it's so funny. If there's if they've done these like uh spoof YouTube videos where like a woman is walking and like a guy will be like, Hey babe, what's up? What's your name? And they'll be like, Oh, oh, leave me and he'll keep walking and he'll be like, Hey, I was just, you know, I, I wanted to talk to you, I have a question for you. Uh. But then the guy will go and then he'll like chirp his car, and it'll be like a Lamborghini, and then she'll be like, Oh, wait a second. What was that? What were you trying to say? And he's like, oh, never mind, you know. Because they want attention, but they want hypergamous attention. They don't want attention just from any man. They want, and so they're looking for that man that's, gonna, that's a, a step above that can get their attention from. So they act like they're all turned off and gross by guys. Ugh, pervert. Ugh, he's looking at me. Ugh. But if the guy is six foot six and, and drives a Lamborghini, Ooh, he could be, he could say the most disgusting things to her, degrading things to her, and she'll be like, oh, oh, right? The same guy, if he was short and fat and broke, said the same exact thing, same exact way, same circumstances, she'll say he's a rapist and to be like creepy. <laughs> Crazy. That's women, their standards are different than ours. They don't have concrete standards. Women don't have concrete standards. Men have, we are the ones that are supposed to have concrete standards. And one concrete standard I would have for sure is I would never tolerate a woman that's advertising, especially if she's already bought, but she's not bought once again, right? I want to encourage you guys to stop fornicating. I know it sounds crazy. I want to encourage you guys to stop dating. Dating culture is degenerate. You wouldn't have these problems if you were in dating culture, right? You wouldn't have these problems where you guys are falling in love with these women who are taking advantage of you. Fall in love with these women who are monkey branching you. Fall in love with these women who are just using you for their attention, right? She, you guys are in separate schools and you come home and you, got, you have sex. You're her back pocket guy. Right. You're her back pocket dude. Right. She comes home. She gets, she gets a little bit of attention from you and then she goes back to school and puts up pictures and uh, does whoever knows what. Right. And I don't know her. I don't know her. I don't know for sure. But if she's putting up pictures like that and you see chats with her, you think that's happening just online? You think she's just doing that on Instagram? She's at school away from you where there's lots of other men. When you see smoke, there's a fire. <laughs> right. I see smoke. You go see smoke and pretend like, oh, you know what, maybe that's just smoke. No, smoke is an indication that there's a fire. So if I, you see in smoke, right, because everything that happened online is just smoke, right? It's just digital, digital digits, right? Eh, whatever, it's pictures, right? Guarantee you there's a fire. There's a fire cooking somewhere that you just don't know about. So you say, I could handle this and walk away. I would. I'll walk away. I'll walk away. And once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but do not deal with any woman that you don't plan on making babies with. Don't ever have sex with a woman that you wouldn't plan on having babies with. Don't date women that you don't plan with, have the intention of making her your wife. Otherwise, it's a waste. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of her time. It's a waste of your vital resources. It's a waste of a man. You, by, here's what happens when we simp, because that's what it is. Men who date are simping. Here's what happens when we, date, when we simp. The standards drop because men give attention to women because they know they'll get sex, but they're giving it to 
women that they wouldn't, they have no interest in building a life with. So these women are getting everything they want from all these women, these men that are paying attention to them, not realizing these men don't really have any interest in you. They're interested in your sex. And you know what that does? It pollutes that woman, right? If you, it, and I was talking about having wanting, wanting pure women, right? Which I think, is, I think is a good standard. I want a virgin to marry. What happens is because you're simping and because all the other men are simping, then there's no, all the women are used up. It's us. It's our fault, man. Stop having sex with these women. Right? Stop. If we stop having sex with these women, there will be much less problems. And we then take back our power. Weaponize chastity. I want to make that a, a pop culture term. Weaponize chastity. Chastity is a uniquely male characteristic. It's a male virtue. He says it's hard to find that in these days. Yeah. Yeah. Anything worth having is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it's hard. Nobody ever said it was going to be easy. I don't promise that it's going to be easy, but how is the culture going to change if we don't change it? Right? Don't be so selfish. Think about your son. Think about your grandson. Think about generations from now. If, if women are still, which things are, whenever shit hits the fan, whenever things get hard, women become women again. The reason why women are behaving the way they're behaving is because things are so easy. So as things get harder, women will fall right back into their place, right? Nature, nature takes over. Like, there won't be transgenders when people are starving. <laughs> what happened to all the transgenders, right? There won't be feminists when people are starving, right? When there's war. Feminists don't exist when there's kinetic attack on your land. Right? And it, it, that, all that silliness goes away. So we could wait for that or, like I tend to be, be ahead of the time. Be ahead of your time a little bit. Hold high standards. And here's the thing with regard to a man that has high standards. A high value man that has high standards will attract every woman. And he has his pick of the litter. If women know, hey, this man is not an easy nut to crack. I can't just take off my clothes and he's going to be drooling all over me. They'll say all kinds of things like, oh, he must be gay. Oh, what's wrong with him? He can't get a boner. Oh, they'll, make all, they'll, they'll try to shame you. But the fact is, they just eating up on the inside because they know they can't control you. And the, only, and the way that women control men is with sex. Stop having sex with these women. Right? Advertise yourself that way. Put yourself out there that way. Say, I'm looking for a virgin to court. In the Bible, they make no question, they make no qualms about it. It's so funny when you read the Bible. They're very clear about who's a virgin and who's not. In the Bible, they make it very clear she was a virgin. He met a virgin, the virgin woman, the virgin Mary. Why? Because virginity is a virtue. Virginity is valuable. But we don't, we've been taught that to, we shouldn't value that anymore as a man. We've been taught that we shouldn't value that anymore as a man. But if men start saying, I value virginity, I'm looking for a woman to court and to marry, and I will settle for no less, guess what's going to start happening? That's who you're going to attract. It's going to be a needle in the haystack, but most of these women out there, they're not going to, they, they, it won't be available to them. And they'll, say to, and they'll say things like, you know, and they'll go and try to get attention elsewhere, but they're not going to be satisfied until they get a guy like you. By then, who knows? So anyway, that's it. That's my opinion on that. You know, I know it's tough, but I also think that we, if we weaponize chastity as men, then we start taking our, our taking our power back. It's not gonna happen overnight, but it's something that we should pursue. Done. Yo, it's your bro Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting, done.